slopes as soon as you can. I'm ready. I'm ready. I, I got some uh, some on discount skis this year, and I'm uh -huh. really excited. And I went today to the shop to have the bindings um, mounted, and they're like, it might be a week. I was like, that'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <some time. laughs> Based on what I'm seeing here, I think that'll be okay. We actually got pretty mild today. 48 officially for high in Portland. 51 in Wiscasset, 50 in Bangor. But if you were outside today, you'd say, you sure that's right? It didn't really seem like it. And the reason is it was windy, quite windy. Now the winds have died down, but I was looking back at the observations. Gusts over 30 miles an hour were happening through the middle of the day. So that might feel a lot cooler. Right now we've got 22 miles an hour in Bar Harbor, 30 in Greenville, starting to settle a bit, but get used to the wind. That's gonna be a feature over the weekend into early next week, where it's just gonna be consistently breezy. Not gonna do any damage, but it's gonna be consistently breezy. Tonight, we drop back down in the 20s, even to the coastline, and then we pop back tomorrow into the 30s. Nice bright day tomorrow, but you'll notice it's not that warm. The mountains may stay below freezing, uh, and as Mallory is pointing out there, the more snow they can blow, the better, because this pattern is not really helping them. Gets quite chilly tomorrow night, but here come some clouds. And this is actually, believe it or not, our storm system from yesterday kind of circling back towards us. It doesn't get all the way here, but the clouds get in, especially along the coastline on Saturday. The farther away from the coast you had, the more sunshine there'll be, but it's cold. Temperatures 20s, some low 30s, but that will be the anomaly. Most of us will stay in the 20s, and we'll do that again again on Sunday with an isolated flurry there, but it is a chilly, seasonally chilly weekend. So watch this storm. Again, this is yesterday's front turned into a storm stalled out, trying to pull back towards us. Again, doesn't quite get there, but watch Sunday night and into Monday. We've got a system out to the Midwest, which is going to turn into a storm offshore of us, but it has to get kind of over southern New Hampshire and southern Maine first Sunday night, and that'll give us a chance for some snow showers, maybe even a quick dusting of snow before this storm turns into a bigger one just offshore, not going to do anything for us. So here we are Sunday night. Just watch that little band of snow. Again, not a huge deal, but Freiburg, uh, Sanford, into the Cornish area could see a light dusting of snow there on Sunday evening. I think the real story, guys, cold teens, low teens in a lot of spots there, especially Sunday morning. I don't know why that graphic's so tiny, but either way, <laughs> it didn't look that way when I made it. But anyways, um, look at the other factor here. As I mentioned, the winds, windy icons on five out of seven days, which um, I don't think I've done that before. I don't mm. keep records of these things. Now, you're not suggesting your computer failed you in that. No, no, I, I don't know. I think I was supposed to stand error. in yeah. that graphic and then I didn't. <laughs> it, it just looked weird. But uh, anyways, you know, so this is not crazy cold, but I think those morning lows are going to feel cold after where we, we've been. The transition yeah. feels like it's coming. Harsh, yeah. Uh, thanks, Thank Keith. You. We're back after this.